Last week I posted a video where I walked you through the process of how to use a program called Handbrake to burn captions into your social video. And the reason I did that is because when I first started, uh, it took me a long time to figure out how to do it. And so I want to share that with you because uh, there's a lot of you out there, you're on this journey, you're just getting started, you're seeing all these people on LinkedIn creating these fantastic videos that are getting thousands of views and you're wondering, okay, how can I get there? And one of the ways you get there is just learning how to do the, the, the tool, use the tools uh, that are available to you to help you create those videos. So today I'm going to show you how to create what's called the SRT file. That's the file that you're going to use then to upload to Handbrake and also maybe your editing program so that you can get those captions burnt in. So here's how it works. I'm going to create the SRT file in YouTube and, I'll, and here's a step-by-step -step, uh, guide to how to do that. Go to your YouTube channel so you've uploaded your finished edited video into YouTube and from your editor and you um, identify the video you want to create the SRT file for. Today we're going to do 5 tips 5 days handbrake. So I'm going to click here on edit and you can see the edit button and you can do a couple of different things. Uh, down on this menu I'm going to click on subtitles, close captioning and it's going to bring this screen up. So here's my video and you can you can do subtitles a couple of different ways in YouTube. Um, the first one is you can uh, do it automatically. YouTube will automatically transcribe what you're saying and then uh, they will sync it up and uh, you know that's a great option but you, you almost always have to go back in and edit because uh, they don't get the words quite right sometimes. So that's an option though. You can try it. I prefer to add my own uh, subtitles or see or closed captioning. I click on English or whatever language you're you're doing in. So I'm going to click on that. And so it's going to give me three options. The first option is to upload a file, but we're creating the SRT file. But that would be if I had an SRT file already created and wanted to caption uh, use it in YouTube, I could upload it here. Uh, the second option is transcribe and auto sync. And the third option is you create new subtitles or closed captioning. So when you click on this, what's here you're going to see when I click on create new subtitles, these are the ones that YouTube created, but I'm going to edit them. Or if you wanted to add to what YouTube created, and you can see here that it's so it's Dave 2 out of 5. It, I said it's day 2 out of 5. You need to go through and you need to edit, and you can do it right over here uh, in the, you know on the left side of the screen. Uh, for um, you know to make sure it's correct and you 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 know you click on your video and watch it and then make corrections now that's pretty time consuming to do that if you've got a lot of corrections to make that's what I've that's what I've found so I'm going to delete this draft and I'm going to go to the second option so let me click back to add new subtitles I'm going to do it in English and then I'm going to click on transcribe and auto sync. That is the one that I prefer. I prefer it because you have the most control. You can type in uh, you, whatever I'm saying and also I like this feature. I have this pause video while typing click. That means that when I'm not typing the video plays but when I'm typing it stops. So I'm going to transcribe everything that I'm saying in this video and then I'm going to show you what that looks like when I'm done. So this is what it, the screen looks like after I typed in verbatim what I was saying in the video and then I uh, clicked on set timings and this is what came out. So YouTube synced it up for me. It took a couple of minutes for that to happen. So here's what that screen looks like. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play my video to make sure that everything is spelled correctly, that the words are, the timing's correct, that, that the words are synced up with what uh, you're hearing and reading the same thing. And so I can make any changes in here just by uh, typing or I can delete uh, or I can go to my 
bar under the video and I can move things around and because sometimes the timing is not quite right and so you can uh, easily uh, manipulate these little squares here. You can see how I can move that around so that when you're playing it, everything syncs up. So, so what your, 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 your audience then will see and hear the same thing if they're listening with the sound on. So once everything is the way I want it and, and I am, I'm happy with that, I'm going to publish it. It needs to be published, so I'm going to hit publish. Um, because you cannot download an SRT file unless it's published. So I hit publish, so that's downloaded. I'm going to uh, click again on English, not automatic, because that's what YouTube did for me. And then I'm going to go over here to Actions. Uh, let me click on that again. These are the actions that you can take. I'm going to download a, a, an SRT file. So. Uh, here we go. I'm going to just click on SRT. I'm going to name it Hand Break. And in the format, it says SRT. So that's how it's done. As simple as that. And once you save it, you're ready to upload that file into Handbrake or your editing system or I showed you before, you can even upload it into YouTube if you need to, but again, I use YouTube to create the file. Now with all these tools, when they're new to you, I recommend playing around with them. It's a trial and error process. Find out what really works for you, and, and then you'll get faster at it, and, but it's just a matter of uh, really practice using these tools. And, and to help you create videos for LinkedIn. Now, if you've got questions about creating SRT files or how to burn captions in or anything else, just put them in the bottom comments and I'll answer them because you know I love to hear from you and I really wanna help you on this journey.